I'll say one thing, man. I got the colors better, I think, on this thing. I'm going to have to make sure I turn off the cardigan if I um, take off the cardigan if I uh, start screwing around with the mat. And I just finished watching a, well, I didn't watch it continuously, but a two hour, 12 minute movie that was, um, I, I mentioned this earlier before uh, this movie, but uh, on Tubi it was free. I think, darn it, what is it called? Brothers in Blood or something like that. But that, that's the dubbed version, and I'm not a big fan of dubbed version uh, movies. Like if I can you know, find another way of watching it, I will. And uh, lucky for me, uh, I, YouTube recommended it, and it was free in amazing qualities. So I think it, I don't know what the language is. It's certainly not English, English or German. It's I mean, it sounded very Russian to me. I don't know if that's what it is, but it was about World War One and Serbia and um, King. It's called King Peter the First or whatever. Just absolutely amazing. And it may sound super sif sniffly. I just cried my F and I balls out like there's no tomorrow. Um, I think I'm just trying to adjust before uh, trying to get some sleep before whatever. Like I said, you probably won't see this video if uh, I keep doing tons and you don't see lots. I'm just doing whatever. Whenever something sticks, kind of like spaghetti or whatever on the wall. Uh, Speaking of which, I found out that uh, I never knew about this, but uh, they were saying that uh, if you want to watch uh, the solar eclipse, you don't want to stare at the sun, obviously. A uh, good way to do it is to uh, use this uh, spaghetti colander and put it on the ground or something, and you can watch the funky stuff that's going on that way or something. I don't know. I, was, I saw it on my weather channel. They said also to look through the, uh, like on the ground, uh, the sunlight going through leaves, supposedly it'll create some interesting little uh, circles or half circles. I'm not going to get it here. We're going to get cloudy as hell. You know what, man? I haven't figured it out. Um, this, I'm so bloody happy. You have no clue. Uh, well, on multiple ways, to be honest with you. Um, I, uh, yep. I kept with my, because remember, this is, well, you can't see it, but over here it's 4th Army and this is 1st Army. I was going to move part of, uh, I was going to move one division over here temporarily in that way. But the thing is, I didn't want to start giving up the ghost with the Russians, like telling them what I'm up to. I have to, I want to start learning how to, uh, <sighs> sorry, like I said, I was bawling my eyeballs out like you have no idea. Um, I have to start figuring out ways of, uh, Especially when we start getting into, or I start getting into the freaking uh, trench warfare there. Um, I've got to figure out ways of getting, uh, not letting the other side big time know what's going on, man. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. What the hell am I doing here? Okay, it's 10 to 11. No, I've just got to figure out, like, uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I mean, it may not sound like much, but if... Um, I do put I do put a lot of energy. I know it may not look like it, but I do put a lot of energy on the live stream. And uh, after that, I'm off to go uh, to that modeling thing. I'm gonna be honest with you; it's primarily just to buy models, model kits, so they better have what I want. Cause I'm I'll be ultra uber pissed if I don't see a lot of World War One model kits there. Like you have no idea. I'm gonna be well planes. Uh, well, if they have a uh, World War One sub, I'll f I am merchant vessels. Well, um, that's what I'm more, mostly interested in. I would like to get some merchant vessels, um, or you know, I'll try to figure out some modifications. I'm gonna get into three D printing line with that amount of plastic and so on and so forth. No, I like uh, I I really enjoy three D printing like uh, rinky dink tiny things. I just love that stuff. That's for me. That's what it's for. Uh, me, like I said. Um, anyways, let's get to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move, uh, it's, uh, I'm concerned, apprehensive. I'm going to leave the, um, the 8th Corps here. Okay. This is the uh, announcer. I'm just going to deal with the 1st Corps. 4th Army, you can deal with everything. Yeah, don't worry, you, you've got some stuff to deal with. Uh, I've got to bring, they've got 4 supply points. I'm going to, I've got to nail that rail line there. 
What I've got to remind myself, man, is that I know both sides. You can call it a bit of game. I don't give an F. Is that um, got to get ready positionally for the end of November for the uh, uh, December um, truce. And then come January, everybody gets going. But by then, everybody's entrenched, proper trenches. Uh, so I have to start thinking of where's the best spots to take now or potentially January and also get the enemy to spread out thin, thin. Oh, my God, I'm listening to some good stuff. I was kind of worried, actually, or apprehensive, because I uh, this is a test. But she's kicking it right off the bat. Good. Thank you. Anyways, let's get back to this. So what I'm going to do, like I said, uh, the Austro-Hungarians are not playing ball with the Germans over here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to, well, it's awesome. We've got the shortener uh, line here. The first corps has to take up positions here and here, while the second corps nail that son of a bee over there, I'm hoping. So what we're going to do is, and I don't want to go with the ghost with the Russians. So what we're going to do is I'm going to split up. This is where I get into apprehensive, apprehensive land. I'm going to half, or no, I'm moving just one, uh, I think a Lambert Brigade, it's only one strength point. I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to start shifting a lot of my strength points over this way, a lot of the troops this way, but keep them one movement point away to go to here to for, uh, force an attack. Get the idea? That's the way I'm thinking. So I'm going to move these guys, the second core, they're going to go over towards here, to get ready to take up these positions in uh, one to two turns from now, essentially. I uh, would prefer one turn. So I think I can get away with this horrible restrictions. So I'm actually going to move these guys away rather than moving this way. I'm moving them this way. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to move them back this way. So the Russians go, oh, they're trying to just um, help support the attack towards Kielce. That's what I'm trying to get the Russians to think, um, which is not the case. It's actually, no, we're going to nail this son of a bee so we can uh, secure the rail lines. And what I'm thinking is, we're going to take this in two turns. On the last turn, take this one. And by then, I think the Russians have gone, you know what, uh, we're going to leave here. Uh, and it's weird, eh? Like, i, I got to tally up everything in the end. But think about this, in all this nonsense, which means for the Austrians, they're going to reclaim their border. Oh, actually, I'll get a little bit extra here. Um, and we'll see here. I, yeah, this is the, this is the biggie. you got to get across the book. So I've got to uh, get uh, transfer some of these supply points over since I found out, F, man, that the Germans are not going to send over anymore. I understand what they're doing. Um, and then we'll go over here. Oh my God! Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I, 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 like I said, I've got to think about. It. You know what? Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go off and do some other stuff. Got to go and pee and blow my nose. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I, uh, I gotta stop thinking about. Um, like I said, it's been it's a lot of other videos you haven't even seen, man. I'm just doing. I'm trying to. Um, you know, look, man. I want to try to, whatever, I'm just, uh, you know, I know I'm a screw up. That's just the way it goes. Such is life. Such is life. This is uh, what I've been given. But I wouldn't uh, trade it for, no. No, no. I've, I've had to deal with a lot of crazy nonsense, most of it um, self-inflicted, but I'd never, uh, never trade it in again. Nope. Yeah, I'd redo a few things, but anyways, let's get back to this. All right, so you're all done. So I'm happy. I'm going to move some dudes over here, and then we're going to get into the, the good stuff, which is that over there. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. The brigades, the battalions. Regiments. Yeah, uh, reading. Uh, what the hell book am I reading right now? There's uh, well, the one that's been grabbing me, and I, I was kind of reluctant. Uh, 
um, because it's going to open up a can of worms for me in uh, uh, in a lot of ways. It's the Trench Warfare 1914-1918. The Live, and Let, Live System Pan Grand Strategy Series by Tony Ashworth. Um, just started into it. Uh, He's talking about uh, the differences between uh, British, French, and German. Um, yeah, he's, he's focused primarily on the uh, Western Front. I think he's going to dilly-dally a little bit with the other fronts, I hope. But um, he's right now just talking primarily about the differences between those trench systems. Uh, I think the philosophy behind them. Uh, but he's... I, I might be wrong, but right now he's really, really, really focused on uh, on how the British trench systems uh, were set up. And I need that uh, for my head. That's on a completely different scale, and I, I need to need uh, know these things. Well, at least for me, I want to. Uh, so what I'm going to start doing, and it just, it was right off the bat, even when I was reading it, man. I was thinking, uh, you got to get yourself a, a piece of graph paper and start, uh, just as he says, oh, 20 yards from here is the... You know, and this is the way the, uh, for example, he's like, okay, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the fire, the fire, um, the fire trench. There's a communication trench or uh, the command trench, sorry. Um, and then that's where all the, the big dugouts are and all that stuff. And anyways, like I said, uh, this is <laughs> talk about, you know, easy bake up and stuff. It's still like, you know, having you turn on the light bulb on, um, I got a lot of stuff to process, but I was like, let's get the graph paper out. I think this is what I'll do. I'll read it out again and go, okay, draw the little line. You know, he says, okay, this is why, because it's, I just need to do this. And eventually something, like I said, will stick in my head. Um, I'm not like one of these people, like, um, first thing, uh, boink, I get it. No, not going to happen. So we do that, and I think hopefully the Russians will think, oh, okay, we're not going to focus so much anymore here. Because I really don't want them to start thinking this. I want them to start, you know, going off into something else. I can't, like I've said before, everybody knows there's, you know, they get, they've also got other people on the other side going, okay, they, these are, holy shit, she's really cooking it. Um, Jesus H, like I'm, I'm shocked. This is uh, like... How the hell did she bang this out so quick? Um, I'll have to go take a look. Uh, look, I'll have to make a comment. That's for bloody sure. Jesus H. Christ. I have to see how much longer I've got on this. Like, if it's only an hour in. But usually she, like, F's around for a long... Like, it's... Not to, uh, like, I'm not... She's... Um, well, she's doing exactly what I'm doing with these videos. But she's doing it with her music, as far as I'm concerned. Yep. Sweet Jesus, she's doing it good. Yeah, she took a couple of days off, and I was like, what the hell? And uh, now she's just like, boom. It's like, nice one, woman. Nice. All right. Sorry, but it is good. All right. So we're finished here, and then, oh, my God. God, well, maybe her music is uh, doing it well, because it's really, I can see this, uh, oh, God, I'm excited as hell. Rata Kielsa, Rata Kielsa, Rata Kielsa, baby. 14 strength points. 17 supply points. Oh, Jesus, jumping mother. Woof. Oh, you should hear That's what she's doing. Woof. Oh, my God. Anyways, I have to stop it so I can go tell. Oh, got another eight over here, too. Yeah, she's cooking it like a... <laughs> yeah, she could do me breakfast. No problem, man. Two eggs over easy. All right, that's it.